So, Mr. Speaker, we would have seen the president would have undertaken several international visits. All carefully crafted, all ensured that we, the people, benefit. So, Mr. Speaker, what I wanted the people of Ghana to know and understand clearly is that every time the president leaves Guyana, we are bringing benefits to the people. And that is how we do it. We've built, and we are building a strong and resilient economy. We're able to travel and represent Guyana in the international forum on all of the issues. And you would have seen us advancing our climate agenda, our food agenda, as well as our energy agenda, energy agenda all national priorities that are also global priorities. So Mr. Speaker, the President's visit to India, United Kingdom, China, Qatar, Dominican Republic, Washington DC, are all visits that we have seen benefits. And Mr. Speaker, might I submit to this house that the visits of His Excellency the President representing Guyana in advancing our foreign policy, we've had for more than 40 MOUs, agreements, roadmaps, all across the world, from Ghana to the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Trinidad and Tobago, Saudi Arabia, Rwanda, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. So Mr. Speaker, when you think about the rewards in terms of our representation in the multilateral, international, regional levels, we have been ensuring that we put the people of this country first. Mr. Speaker, since we took office, we have also undertaken 44 accreditation. And this is across the global environment. Republic of Angola, United Arab Emirates, the Swiss Confederation, Republic of Cyprus, Republic of Philippines, the Kingdom of Norway, the People's Republic, Democratic Republic of Algeria, Japan, just to name a few. So Mr. Prime, Mr. Speaker, I just wanted to Give, give you the facts in terms of our representation, accreditation, which speaks to the number of countries that want to engage us, whether it's on the political dialogue, whether it's economic cooperation, whether it's people people exchange. We have been very busy, Mr. Mr. Speaker, working in the interests of the people.